Okay, this time I'll explain about how to uh, add a background uh, using the image we just exported. So go to, I just simply go to file. Uh, Photoshop is still opening. Okay, so go to file and just open the file I just made. So probably that one is probably, um, where is the file? Okay, I'll just select this one as all format as TIFF. We then actually see exterior rendering. It's of 1.4 megabytes, so it's not so bad. Okay. Then you will see the do you see that this the, the kind of check background, meaning that there's nothing, no images behind it. So how to select that? If you go to channel, oh actually, okay, so this is good. So actually I, what I will do, I will create a okay, so this one is layer zero. I create a new layer and then I would call it this one is BG background I locate this one behind layer and whatever actually under the BG you will do okay so I'll simply add some color I just said okay let's say this one is some neighboring building behind it and then I uh, add some color some brown some black you see that this one does not interrupt your building the image in front of it so actually you can do, you can add any kind of sky image or building image behind it. Yes? Can you do that one more time? Huh? Can you do that one more time? Okay, so, okay, so what, I, what I did before here, so I just uh, delete that. Okay, so I will repeat one more time. Okay, so this is the file, just I opened it. So let's say two, so and then as you see the kind of like all this check background pattern, meaning that there's no images behind it. So what I do, I will add a new layer. So I called it this one as background. And then I will, I will move the position of the background layer under the layer zero, which is layer zero, I just changed its name. Uh, simply this one is actually your uh, main image. So let's assume that you need a kind of like a uh, sky. I'll just Google with sky. And then go to a uh, download image. Let's say we have this kind of image. I just download it. Uh, save image as uh, desktop. I just call this sky. And then actually you can just open file, open uh, this sky, change the file type or format. And where is the sky? Okay, here's sky. I open it. And then I just control A C and then I go back to here. And on the on the background layer, I just paste it. So now you have uh, this kind of uh, sky behind it. And actually no matter what you do, this one does not in uh, kind of does not influence your main rendering images, just stay behind it. So uh, already well known technique, Anthony. <laughs> A background, yes. So you can do you can add anything behind it. So this one is how to export